Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this new lesson, I'm going to show you how to deploy your game on the web. So here I can play this game using a browser like Google Chrome. I'm going to show you how to use the WebGL build support to build your game. Then we're going to upload it using itch.io website, which allows you to deploy your game so that anyone can go to this link and play the game without installing it. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. So first of all, we need to open up Unity project. So I've downloaded this FPS micro game from the Unity Ast store. It's free and it's a very good game. So here's the project. We have a main menu, we can play the game and as you can see we have this FPS controller, we can move, also we have few enemies, so it's a very cool project. We need to upload this on the web so that anybody can play the game using a browser like Google Chrome and to do that let's go to file, build settings, then we need to change the platform from PC to WebGL, we didn't have the WebGL module, so we need to install it. Let's click on install with Unity Hub. Then you will see this window that pops up to install the module. Make sure that the WebGL build support is selected. And let's hit next. Then done. And once it gets downloaded, you see that we have this icon, that means that the WebGL build support is installed successfully. Let's go back to our project, then let's select WebGL, now we can switch the platform. But if this button doesn't appear, make sure to close the project and reopen it again, then you will have this button to switch to the WebGL platform. For me I will just hit switch platform. Now we can build the game using this build button or before that we can go to the player settings and here you could change some settings like the icon of the game, the company name, you could also select a version and so on. So let's select an icon like this one. Now let's build the game using build. So I'm gonna put it under my desktop. Let's create a new folder. I'm gonna call it FPS Micro Game. Then let's select it. And once the build is completed, let's go to the desktop. Now we have this folder. And as you can see, we have this index.html file. We can open it up using a browser. But our game will not work. Basically, we need to upload it and I'm gonna use the website itch.io. It allows you to deploy your game. Then you will have a link that anybody can access. So let's close this tab. Here you need to create a new account or you could log in if you have one. For me, I'm gonna create a new one. Let's use a username. Then we need to add a password and an email address, then let's accept and hit create account. Now we can upload the game using this upload button. But before that, we need to zip the files. So let's select all of these, then right click and I'm using WinRAR to zip all of the files. Then let's hit OK. Now we can deploy the game. So let's go back to the website, hit upload a game. Then create a new project. I'm gonna put a title like FPS Micro Game. Here you could put all of the information about your game, but make sure to select the kind of project. Basically, we are using an HTML, so this is a free website. I'm gonna select no payments. Of course, you could donate. Then let's go down and upload the file which is under the desktop 
and it's the FPS micro game dot zip once you upload the file let's go down here you could set the resolution but I'm gonna leave it as default then you could change some other settings for example you could change the visibility you could make it public or draft but in order to make it public you need to publish it first and hit the save button now let's hit save and there you go now we can run our game using a browser but the resolution is not right we can play the game I'm gonna show you how to fix that now you could share this link with your friends so that they can play the game using a browser by Google Chrome or uh, Microsoft Edge anyway let's fix the resolution of our game using edit game then let's go down here of course you could change the resolution from here but I'm gonna select this option click to launch in full screen now we can select it public and let's hit save and let's check out the game again using view page so I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any question or comment make sure to write it under the comment section down below also don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the bell icon I appreciate that and I will see you in the next one